Welcome to the Growing in Love for Life podcast, where it's all about saving and strengthening your marriage and creating the relationship you really deserve and want to have. And now, from growinginloveforlife.com, relationship and marriage coach and best-selling author, your host, Liam Naden. This is episode 52 of the Growing in Love for Life podcast. Welcome everyone, I'm Liam Naden, and it's good to have you here. Now in this episode, I'm going to take a bit of a different tack to the previous podcast episodes. There are actually now obviously 51 previous episodes, and also my two programs, my 7 day Stop Your Divorce program, and my 30 day Save Your Marriage Relationship Transformation program. So there's a ton of information that I've provided for you ideas, strategies, step-by-step processes, and all of these things are there to help you to save your marriage and make it even stronger as well. But in putting all of this information together for you, I've realized that there's something of almost a missing link, and it's something, something actually that only really struck me the other day after I got off a call with a participant in my 30-day Save Your Marriage program, and as you may know, I offer a free 30-minute coaching call as part of that program. It's one-on-one with me. And what I realized that when I do these calls is that what tends to happen is I'm doing two things. Firstly, people tend to want clarity. They want more guidance on how to implement some of the strategies in the program and apply them to their own unique situation. So that's, that's pretty important. But the other thing I find myself doing in these calls is providing people with some clarity and perspective about their situation. And that's really quite different. It's about helping them to see some of the things that they can't really see. They're emotional things, and they're created by the turmoil and stress that they're going through, obviously, in trying to save their marriage. So I thought it would be valuable for me to actually cover some of these things in a podcast, because these are the things that apply to everyone when they're going through the process of trying to save their marriage. So that's what I'm going to do today. And that's why I've called the podcast The Truths You Need to Know As You Try to Save Your Marriage. So if you like, as we go through this, as you listen to it, think of it as something like a reality check for you. It's a a bit of a pep talk, if you like. And I hope that as you listen to this, the ideas are really going to sink in and they're going to be able to help you speed up the progress you're making in saving your marriage. All right, so this podcast is really about perspective and truth. And if you know anything about me and my story and how I came to be really working in this field, you'll be aware that a few years ago, it was about six six or seven years ago now, I dug myself into a very deep and dark hole in my life. And it was really thanks to my mishandling of my marriage, or actually my marriage is... <laughs> But I was in the place where I'd lost everything. I was homeless. I was sleeping on the couch in the living room in my mother's small flat. I was facing bankruptcy. I had no income, no job. I'd been forced to move back into a town where I had no friends. And I was battling against two very hostile ex-wives in court at the same time. And as you can imagine, I was in a pretty bad way emotionally. I mean, I was depressed. I was stressed. I was I was lonely. And I certainly couldn't see an end in sight. Well, at least not a positive one. Now, of course, things did get better for me. And I I went to work on myself. I I learnt and developed many of the ideas I now share in these podcasts and my programs. But in looking back into those dark times, similar to what you're probably going through right now, I wish that I had someone in my life there at the time telling me the things I'm going to be telling you in this podcast today. And I wish I'd had the emotional support from someone who'd been through what I was going through, who knew what it really felt like, and who knew how to deal with it. So whether or not you have someone like that in your life, I hope that today I'm going to be that person for you. And in doing that, I want to tell you a few truths about yourself and your situation that you probably have lost sight of or forgotten. And I think that by reminding you of these things, it's going to help you. 
All right, so let's look at some truths that you need to know as you try to save your marriage. Well, the first truth you need to know is about yourself, and it's this. There's actually nothing wrong with you. And you know, it might sound a bit obvious, but it's probably not something that you're thinking. There is nothing wrong with you. Because when your spouse comes along and tells you that they no longer love you or that they want a divorce, I mean, this is a very powerful form of rejection, isn't it? And rejection from someone, especially the person who you've built your life with and who you've put so much emotional and personal energy into, when you get rejection from that person, it can be a huge blow to your self-esteem.